Hey, what's up? Edgar Antillon back again and let's talk about this little thing right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, um, but this little thing right here, let's talk about this little object right here. Uh, you may know it as a safety pin. If you're Mexican and broke, that might be your, your button. This might be your belt. Um, this could be the shit that you, you cuff your, your shoes with, your, I'm sorry, your pants with. Um, this safety pin does, does all kinds of shit. But lately, that safety pin has represented a, an alliance. It has represented a, 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 somebody is an ally to a minority. And, and I want to talk about that. And while I talk about that, um, I want to drink this right here. Um, most of you know I, I don't drink. This is a fake beer, but um, this shit's fucking cool as fuck. I'm going to talk about that safety pin. And, and my thoughts about the safety pin is just an opinion, whatever. But... I think it's fucking stupid. I think it, it, it's it's dumb. I do strongly believe that we should take care of one another. But I don't think a safety pin should represent that. I think our everyday actions should represent that. If I see a black dude getting his ass whooped, I might go help him out. If a white dude um, is getting his ass whooped, I might go help him out. If a gay dude is getting his ass whooped, I might go help him out. But I don't know that individual. I don't know who you are as a person. If you're a piece of shit, it doesn't matter if you're black, it doesn't matter if you're white, it doesn't matter if you're Chinese, it doesn't matter if you're gay, it doesn't really matter. If you're a piece of shit, then maybe it, I'm not going to defend you. Maybe I'm going to second guess defending you. What I will do, what I will offer, what I am talking about, is this idea that I'm going to be your superhero. This idea that I'm going to be your savior. Um, some people do call me God, but that's during that, that's usually during sex. Um, I'm not everybody's Superman. Uh, this little safety pin gives the wrong impression that I'm going to save you regardless of who you are, and that's not the case. Um, that's simply not the case. I'm going to defend those who I believe are in my circle and, and those who are, are really, really being oppressed by an individual, by a government, um, by an entity, whatever it might be. The color of your skin means nothing to me. Uh, your sexual orientation means nothing to me. Uh, it doesn't mean that I, I hate people. It doesn't mean that I hate certain people. It simply means that I believe that you, before anybody else, should take the responsibility to defend yourself, to defend yourself and your family, to defend yourself and, and your loved ones. It is your responsibility. That's not my responsibility. This safety pin should not be on my lapel. This safety pin should not be on my hat. If you're Isaac, this safety pin should not be in my ear. This safety pin represents false sense of security. This safety pin doesn't represent me being on your side. I may not be on your side. Me being on your side has nothing to do with race. Me being on your side has nothing to do with sexual orientation. Me being on your side has nothing to do with gender. Me being on your side has everything to do with how you are as a human being. The safety pin, I will never wear it because the only way I can show you about self-defense is if I actually show you about self-defense. Me coming to your rescue every single time is not the way to do it. And that's how you start believing in a government that's always going to be there for you. And, and the truth is, people will fail you. Even if they love you, people will fail you. You have to depend on yourself for your defense. You have to depend on yourself financially. You have to depend on yourself uh, for everything in life. And even if people don't fail you, even if they don't fail you, it is not their responsibility to take care of you in any way, shape, or form. It is your responsibility as a human being to defend yourself, to take care of yourself. If you're gay and somebody's fucking with you, let me know. I will teach you how to kick some ass. If you're black and somebody's fucking with you, let me know. I will teach you how to shoot a gun. If you're a Mexican and somebody's fucking with you, you know better than that shit. You should fucking learn how to fight. Um, it, it's not my responsibility. It, it's not the safety pin. Safety pin, that shit's fucking ridiculous. It, it's, it's a false sense of security. Take care of yourself. It is items like this that create stupid hate crimes. A hate crime is one of the most ridiculous things I have ever heard of. 
Hate crimes basically classify me as a Mexican, as an inferior race. I'm not inferior, I'm just as equal as anybody else. A hate crime, all that hate crime does is tell me that government believes I'm less of a human being than my white counterparts. I can whoop ass just like anybody else. I don't need your fucking hate crime. Hate crimes are one of the most ridiculous fucking laws. Here's another thing. Mexicans, black people, gay people, we don't need a majority to defend us. It is very condescending when a group of individuals believe that minorities need your help. We don't need your help. What we need is the ability to defend ourselves. We need less laws that restrict our gun ownership. We need less laws that prevent us from defending ourselves when somebody comes into our homes. We need less laws that protects the government from me. Safety pins, it's cute, maybe fashionable. If you're broke, could be a million things. This is, I would say this is the Mexican duct tape. But this does not tell me that you're on my side. This does not tell me that you're my ally. This shouldn't tell me that you're on my side. This shouldn't tell me that you're my ally. All right, folks, hope you liked the video. Uh, comment down below, like the video, tell your friends, subscribe to the channel. Um, peace.